If you could send me her number, I would appreciate it. Over the phone and on the computer, Pamela Resendiz and Carolina Caniceles spent much of the afternoon spreading what they call great news. It was pretty surreal when I got the news. I started crying. Both women are recent graduates of UTSA, and both are undocumented immigrants. Carolina's family moved here from Monterrey when she was 10. Pamela's came from Mexico City when she was 9. Now both stand to benefit from President Obama's shift in immigration policy. We're not going to get deported anymore, and that's huge news. It's just crazy to, to see how far our movement has come along. Back in 2010, Pamela organized a well-publicized hunger strike in support of the DREAM Act and joined other so-called DREAMers for sit-ins and rallies. Meantime, Carolina started the San Antonio Immigrant Youth Movement. Yes, it felt like it was a long time, you know, waiting for it, but it, because I'm thinking my 12 years in this country as an undocumented immigrant um, who's been in the United States for 14 years, that, that this is my home and this is where I want to stay and that I want to contribute to the society that has given me so much. As some celebrate the president's decision, others are condemning it. Congressman Lamar Smith of San Antonio is especially vocal, saying, quote, President Obama's amnesty only benefits illegal immigrants, not Americans, and is a magnet for fraud. How can the administration justify allowing illegal immigrants to work in the U.S. when millions of Americans are unemployed? President Obama and his administration once again have put partisan politics and illegal immigrants ahead of the rule of law and the American people. Pamela Resendi says she plans to go to law school and become an immigration attorney. Both Pamela and Carolina say they plan another rally to celebrate this decision with fellow Dreamers tomorrow morning at 9.30 at the UTSA Mexico Center. Robert Price, Fox News at 9.